In this problem, we are comparing side lengths, perimeters, and areas of similar polygons. So we've got two polygons, and they're proportional to each other. So this is just a smaller version of this one. So by however much this side is smaller than this side, then all the sides are that same uh, degree smaller. So we've been given the perimeter for both of these, but only a side for one and only um, Oh, sorry, an area for one and only a side for one. And we want to fill in the blanks for the rest of this stuff. We've really got two separate kinds of measurements here. We've got measurements of length and, me and a measurement of area. So these two, the side length and the perimeter, are measurements of length. This one, the area, that's a little bit different. It's going to be treated differently. So let's just start with these measurements of length. First of all, we've got side DE is 4 but we don't know what side CB is, and we're trying to get that. But we are given the perimeter of this larger one. This is 28, so all the way around is 28. And this one, the perimeter is 16. We can use those two measurements to uh, create a ratio uh, to show how these two similar polygons are related and use that to set up proportions to solve uh, for the side. So let's just put the big uh, polygon on top, so that's a perimeter of 28, and the smaller polygon on the bottom, perimeter of 16, and then let's just simplify this. Let's see, both of those are divisible by 4, so 7 fourths. So this polygon is 7 fourths, all the sides are 7 fourths um, bigger than this one. So if we want to solve for this side here of the bigger polygon, we'd set up a proportion with 7 fourths on one side and x over 4 on the other side. In a proportion, you have to have uh, things in the same order. I've got big polygon, little polygon, big polygon, little polygon. If we solve this, 7 times 4 is 28. And then 4 times x is 4x. And we divide by 4. You may have done this in your head already. And you get x equals 7. So this side is 7. We can fill that in down here. So we've solved that. The other piece we need to fill in here is the area of the smaller polygon. We've got the area of the larger polygon. I said that area was a different kind of measure. We can't just use this 7 fourths uh, to, to solve the area in the same way. The reason is that area is units squared. So what we need to do is take this guy right here and square it. And that's what we're going to use uh, to set up our proportion. So 7 fourths squared is going to equal, <clears throat> and we'll set up the same ratio, a uh, large polygon on top, so 147, over a small polygon. That's the one we're looking for. So let's do some simplification here. Uh, if I square 7 fourths, I get 49 over 16. And here I've got 147 over x, and I can cross multiply, so 49 times x equals, and 16 times 147, I'm going to need to pull up my calculator for that, times 147, and I get 2352, and then to solve for x we need to divide both sides by 49. So we'll divide that by 49, and I'm getting x equals 48. And this is in centimeters, so that's centimeters squared. And we can put our 48 in right here. So perimeter, side lengths, both just measures of length. Just set up your um, proportion like you're used to. With area, you need to just square this ratio. So that's a little bit of work with finding side lengths, perimeters, and areas in similar polygons.